I'm not satisfied with having shot Molly in the shoulder. <laughs> I probably just ended up replaying this whole chapter. What the hell? Right, I'm not going to shoot Molly. Okay? I'm not shooting Molly. I fucked up last time. I'm not doing it again. I am prepared. Right, let's do this. What we're not going to do? That's right. Oh, Jesus! Chip. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, I ben? really hate Ben. Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Right. I'm scared now. I feel the pressure not to mess up. Please shoot this fucker! Oh. There we are. Yay, I didn't shoot Molly. Yay! Me, I did it! Come on! Are you proud of me? Ben, Woo! Go. Ben, the hard part's over! Your ass. <laughs> oh bloody hell. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Don't tap it. Whack it. <laughs> this is my fault. All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Oh, here we go. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with Hold the, on to your hats, the motor eh? in, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kenny, enough! Calm down, man! You little piss -head. You're fucking dead! You hear me? Dead! My wife the child! You got them both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! <laughs> Kenny just flops. That's the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want. I love how Krista's writing match me, matches her that hoodie. Risk. Makes me happy. I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What I'm about sticking the rest to my guns. Us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> Why she gets to say though. It's like she's not even getting on the boat. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. So much for the armory. What's left of it? How is a bell tower an armory? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Hello. Oh shit. Bye bye. <laughs> it's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. All right. We can't fluff this up. Okay. No fluffing. Flo no fluffing Please, allowed. Look.
Fuck me. I'm dead again, aren't I? Damn it! Bugger me. I done goofed. I still done goofed. I still. I, I'm just happy Molly's not fucking dead. Because that was annoying. Come on, pull your leg. Pull your fucking leg. Come on! Your fucking leg out! Or snap it off! Jesus! Come on! Oh god! It's tomahawk time, bitches! way down from there you didn't come into town from the railroad did you yeah why never mind i can see the sewer <laughs> when we came in from here i think we can do this well what are we we're waiting pretending for? that death didn't go. happen okay good are we good good yay molly's alive i'm just happy molly's alive i'm so annoyed at myself come on let's go oh shit Hang himself. Hold on, Ben. I've got you. Ben, climb up. Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get the others out of here. Lee. I know what Kenny wants, because Ken doesn't even like Ben, so that's not a really hard choice, is it? Lee, we both know. Let me go. I really wish I recorded the first playthrough I did of this. I was genuinely like, sorry Ben! When I dropped him. <laughs> Bye, Ben. <laughs> I'm just glad Molly's alive. <laughs> oh, me? Oh, Clementine. Clementine! Clementine, if that's you, it's me, Lee. It's okay, you don't need to hide. Come on out. Steady. 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 Hold on to your hat. There. There's going to be so much of those, by the way. Now I'm wearing Christ. a hat. The hell it's going Clementine? to be said so often. Clementine! Lee! Yay, Clem! You made it back! Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? No. I'm sorry. Crawford was. It just wasn't time. Clementine, what happened here? One of those things got inside. It tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. Upstairs? Oh, me. You did good, kiddo. Real good. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omi? What are you saying good to? 
Moonwalk. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! You check his pulse first, you wouldn't assume he was dead. Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh, hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. <laughs> you just take some dry no water. Just pop them down. Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Now you make them at me. Thanks a lot. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. Man, I hope so. She's pissed at me now. Go Thank start you. start work on the boat. Okay. With a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little okay, talk. Okay, I'm not going to shout at him this private. time. Because that was an accident. Didn't know it would escalate so far. <laughs> We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is going to wind up dead. You hear me? Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about something. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. He asked me to drop him, a little bit different. And everyone's dead because of Ben! Bree's dead because of Ben! Codger's dead because of Ben! Duck's dead because of Ben! Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. <laughs> ben is dead because of Ben. Like exactly. And I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. 
You too, Lee. It's got lonely on your own. Aww. I don't think I hooked the last time. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. It's all skills. Yeesh. Oh god, let's face the music with Clem. Brace herself. Hey, sweet pea. Henny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. I really wish you could see the whole episode, Elkie. Because it explains more about mean? why. What did Kenny mean when he she said wasn't a character or anything like that, but yeah, the diabetic does die. Clementine, this may be hard to understand right now, but sometimes for the good of everyone, we have to make tough choices. Ben was putting us all in danger in Crawford. So I made a decision. And I left him behind. I know that sounds bad. But I had to think about the whole group. Not just one person. But I'm just one person. Not to me, you know. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Claire. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Oh, new Clem. <laughs> I really wish you could see that episode because. After you said that you'd be screwed in the pocket, you'd be the first to die because you're diabetic, I thought, it's funny you mentioned that because <laughs> I knew this happened in this episode. And then you couldn't watch it and I was like, ah, oh, never mind. <sighs> Clipping time. Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! I told you I'd die. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Deathwork? Would not kill him, would it? No. 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 Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. 
Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible. I remember this bit like maybe like crying when I first played it. You may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? You're sure, Lee. Just lead the way. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. This is such a no oh it's such an irritating way how you got bitten. See if he took her. He just out. went and got him. What about the like, boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? Destroyed so many walkers. If someone and was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? says now is the time on it. Where the hell are they? It's so creepy hiding out. It's like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Walking Dead, episode 5. No time left. Wait. Literally, I had to just play the last bit of that so I didn't kill Molly. <laughs> I was so upset. I, they said she died, but you never seen her die. You just assumed she died because she was getting overrun by walkers because she'd shot her in the shoulder. Because obviously she couldn't actually fight. So I was just like, no, Molly, I'm sorry. So I had to replay it, literally, just for that. I really want to know how you only end up with how do you how 
do you only end up with Lee? Could it be like, depending on if you've lied to anybody and stuff? Like, say you were a massive liar throughout the whole game, like, lied, 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 lied. Could it be that you end up having nobody on your side to help you find Clementine? Because I know how you get that one, you just don't drop Ben. And I drop Ben. So... But then how do you get rid of Omi Omid and Krista and just have Kenny and Ben? How do you just have Ben? How the fuck do you just have Ben? That's like the worst companion to... That one you have Kenny. That's the most popular getting rid of Kenny. Oh no, that's most popular. Then that one... No. Oh my god! What? Just Lee and Kenny is the most popular. How do people end up with it? I don't understand how they've possibly managed to do that. The fuck? Hmm. Oh well, let's continue. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot about this. Oh, bollocks. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! 